My pro-life journey began with the first ultrasound of my son Aiden. It was it was that eureka moment when I realized this is a this is a child. Our second child, Maya, was born in 2006, and it wasn't until uh, 2011 that we learned that uh, my wife was pregnant with Elijah, and shortly thereafter, we found out uh, through the genetic testing that there was a 75% chance that Elijah had trisomy 18, which is a very serious genetic disorder. But we both thought that Elijah deserved the chance at life. Life is sacred, and he should have a chance at life. Elijah was, was stillborn, um, and I think we sort of we sort, of, we sort of thought that was what was going to happen. I then went, we held him, both of us. Um, I went and woke up my kids and I had to tell them that there was a problem. It was uh, very hard. But such a beautiful moment afterwards. We all held them. It was hard letting go. As painful as it was, I think if we had had an abortion, uh, it would have been far worse. It's painful now for me to think back to it because you think about the loss, but the time we had together was incredibly moving, powerful, wonderful, and terrible. I don't know how else to describe it. But Elijah deserved a chance at life. I'm just so firmly convinced of that. Two days from now, Elijah would be celebrating his third birthday. So I know we'll have a, have a cake. My daughter loves to send up a balloon with a little message. I think life is sacred. I think everyone deserves a chance at life. As a pro-life politician, I, I don't think you can hang your convictions or your deeply held personal beliefs at the door. I think you carry those with you in the job. Children deserve to have a chance at life. We should let life win.